everyone and welcome to Google uh, Drawings. I really like Google Drawings for its ability to um, let us play around with a lot of different things here. So today I'm going to show you how to make a grid on a photo. So the first thing that we need to do is change your paper size to the size of your actual drawing paper. So we're going to do that in page setup. So you go to file, page setup, these are standard screen sizes, so we're going to go to custom. I'm holding my paper vertical, so it's five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. And then I just hit apply, and there we go. One thing that you want to be wary of, if this is centimeters or points or pixels, then it's going to change your rulers, which could make it confusing because one way that you can make your grid is by using the rulers although that's not what we're going to be doing today. Once you have your page correct, you are going to insert your image, and I'm going to upload it from my computer. I'm just gonna scroll down and find the photo of the plant I took this morning. Here we go. All right, so now this is in there, and I need to make sure that it fits in this space. I'm just going to tuck it into the corner, zoom out a little bit, and slide it down so that it fits into the space, and crop it so that it's the same size as my paper. There we go. Now your next step is to put the grid on it. Now there's two ways that you can put the grid. Like I said before, you can use the line tool and draw a line every inch. It's a little annoying because you have to do it vertically and horizontally. Um, but then you have more control there. But there's an easier way. We are going to insert a table. You always round up to the nearest whole inch. So my paper is five and a half inches wide. I'm going to round up to the nearest whole inch, which is six inches. And my paper is eight and a half inches long, so I'm going to round up to the whole, nearest whole inch, which is nine inches. So that's the size of my table, six by nine. Now this table is going to be a little harder to see. I'm going to change some of the lines here, although I'll change it back once I go to print or once I start drawing so that those lines aren't um, covering any important details. So this, just like my photo, gets tucked up into the corner and you're going to slide it down and make it so that your last box is half on, half off your image. Because remember, it's five and, a half, eight, five and a half inches wide, so that's one, two, three, four, five and a half. And then you'll do the same thing vertically. You'll be able to ensure that this is correct in just a second. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. If you want to ensure that this is correct and your boxes are square, which is really important for proportion, especially if you're doing human faces, um, you'll want to make sure that your table is the correct size. To do that, you're going to check your formatting options. So with your table selected, go to your more options and then your format options you will click on size and rotation. And do you see how it's 6.17 inches wide? Well, remember we wanted it to be six columns wide. So we want it to be six inches wide. And our height is nine columns tall. So we want it to be nine inches tall. That's going to allow us to have boxes that are square because each box is now an inch wide and an inch tall. So now we have our grid on our space and you can make the same grid on your drawing paper and be able to draw in everything that's in each box. I would recommend making your lines for your grid thinner and a color that is easy for you to see. And the great thing about this is in darker areas, you can go through and make the color for your grid white so that you can see it um, in those darker areas, areas as well. 
Now that's it for making a grid on your photograph and you'll be able to use this drawing tool as often as you want to get more accurate proportions and scale. So good luck with this and I hope that it helped.